A person chronically stuck at this level is often tired, unmotivated, or preoccupied with self-loathing. Some experience regular bouts of crying. Crying is a natural way of releasing stuck energy, but for this level, even fairly harmless events cause tears. Here, crying is not really a release, but a perpetuation of artificial drama. Telling lies and creating drama, where there formerly were none, is a specialty at this level. Stuck here, the person often speaks in a pessimistic or whiny tone and needs a long time to get things done. Just like with the apathy person in the level below, there are often time lags in responding to challenges, questions or emails that are due to nothing other than a lack of vitality. At the age of 14, I went into a state of indescribable vividness, which lasted for several days before I came back down. This state was without any sense of limitation, any sense of self, any sense of need. I was intensely energetic and blissful. However, I was unable to function as a normal human because I lacked nothing. I did not feel the desire to eat, to go somewhere, to do something, to learn anything, because I felt infinite, aware of everything at the same time. So what I mostly did was sit around in my room, staring at things in awe. Even the most mundane objects had a shimmer to them. Everything looked fluid and shiny. The world was not one of hard objects fixed at a certain location, but of a flowing continuum. Just sitting there staring at the world was the most amazing experience. After a few days, my sense of a distinct self living in the world reassembled so that I could again function as a human. Prior to that, there was the sense that I could leave human existence and just let go of the body and life and that it wouldn't mean too much if I did. The life we all take so very seriously felt like one huge comedy show. With the return to the normal state, the rushes of energy and ecstasy that had been coursing through the body also disappeared and I was once again my normal self. That was a reading from the 2010 book, Levels of Energy. I'm holding in my hand the original proof copy before it was even published, okay? The uh, proof I myself assembled with my own hands. Totally uncorrected, totally raw. And uh, believe it or not, it's the only copy I've ever owned. <laughs> You're very much invited to the up and coming Levels of Energy course in Dallas, Texas from the 26th to the 28th of July. And I also invite uh, previous students to the Levels of Energy course because it's been a long time. It's been more than, uh, it's been five years since I've held the last levels of energy course. So now, once again, it happens 
and it's the only event I'm doing this year. So you're invited. Come and enjoy a once in a lifetime experience. The benefits of the Levels of Energy course. Number one, you'll be able to tell the levels of consciousness of yourself and others, which pretty much tells you everything about everything. Number two, you'll be able to elevate your emotions to a state of zest, passion, humor at will. And that pretty much takes care of everything else. And number three, you learn a different way of handling difficulties and problems. Instead of putting a smiley sticker over them, you learn how to embrace and release authentically so that the smiley face is real. This book is dedicated to the spiritual development of mankind. It focuses on levels of energy, reality creation, spectral consciousness. It is the result of 15 years of in-depth research into the nature of infinity. <laughs>